Welcome to a tutorial video on ChoiceScript. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the basics of using the ChoiceScript IDE, as well as play through some of the initial parts of the My First ChoiceScript game. So we see here the ChoiceScript IDE is loaded. This is an unofficial tool that is highly recommended when using and developing projects in ChoiceScript. It's helpful for grouping your files in one place, using various code syntax to look at syntax errors, as well as seeing how you're writing your code, as well as testing the code all in the same window. And we see that here. From left to right, we see the list of files currently in this project. We see its current code here in the middle, as well as we see over here on the right-hand side a preview of the game. And I'm going to cover more of this IDE as we progress through these videos. But then in this first initial video, it's enough to know that there's three separate tabs or views within this ChoiceScript IDE. Again, files on the left, code in the middle, and preview or warnings on the right-hand side. So to start here, we're using a project called My First ChoiceScript Game. It is a freely available example game that you can load in various things, as well as try it on your own, and it's freely available, and I've linked to it within the YouTube description of this video. We're not going to go through the code of this because it's actually fairly complex for an example because it covers numbers, a number of different ways of doing things. What's important though is we understand how things are being organized. So again, we're looking at an example of my first choice script and we're doing it within the choice script IDE. So over here on the right hand side, we see a preview of this. I'm playing this example. We see at the top a number of different options here, buttons. We can show stats, restart, menu, pop out, and when running in the choice script IDE, start stepping. That is a step-by-step -step view of the game or a debug view that helps you troubleshoot things. So the first thing I'm going to click on is show stats. We see a stat screen. This example has an example, this example has a preview of what a stat screen could look like as well as some stats within this game. And these will be covered in later videos. So if we click next, we go back to this initial screen. Choice script is also is often driven by clicking on next between scenes or screens within a game or project. We get used to either choosing things, hence the name choice script, and then progressing to next. So we see here this initial text, that this is freely available, that it comes with no license or anything else, and comes as is. We click next we see the first of many different choices that are within this example game. These are indicative of how choices appear within choice script. We see usually a description at the top and then a number of different choices. Choosing one of them prevents us from choosing the others. Then upon clicking one of them we click next to progress through the project. So we see here another example of different choices. And we can click on any of these and then click next to proceed. And we see an outcome based on the choices we made and we can go to the next chapter. We see here continuously that we can make different choices. Now those choices can have an impact on the outcomes as we just saw as well as the different statistics that are within the game. So if we get to show stats we could see these stats changing based on the choices we've made. And this allows us to always double check by going to a stat screen to see what our choices are, to see what our stats are and what choices have impacted those. And we could go to return game at the top or next to go back. And we can continue to make choices through this and there's a number of different ways of going through this as well as a couple of different endings to demonstrate what those look like. But what's important here is to understand as a review we're using the Choice Script IDE within this video series, and within this first video here, we're playing the My First Choice Script game, and as well as we were looking at different ways to go to the stat screen, clicking on Show Stats, and then returning to the game, and making choices in the game, understanding how Choice Script games appear. Thanks for watching.